What's good to you guys? So this is the beginning of the new vlog. We got some McDonald's. I got me an iced coffee, sugar free, which has no sugar whatsoever. I got me a banana strawberry smoothie, and it is amazing. She's obsessed with that. Obsessed. Amazing. Shout out to McDonald's for having this because it's like they have the mango pineapple one too, right? Yeah. Uh huh. So I haven't tried that one, but I like the fact that you can just go here and get this because. Uh, not a lot of fast foods carry smoothies. Nah. Like I don't know why. Like, nah, man, nah. y'all gotta switch it up. Like, um, as you guys can see, it don't mind my face. I put some like um, hyalur hyaluronic acid, and uh -huh. it has like silver specks. So I put that in the morning time. Um, I changed my piercings, as you guys can see. Um, and I had my tea this morning. I'm just having an iced coffee because I don't, you know, I feel like iced coffee. I don't know. I just haven't been hungry. I'm going to have a watermelon when I get home. I have to go to the P.O. box because I got so much packages there. I just let them pile up, you know, as much as possible. But um, what else I was going to say? Um, mm, nothing. This it's gloomy as heck today. Mm -hmm. The weather has been beautiful out. And... Yeah, it reminds me, like, of the fall. Mm -hmm. Like, it was just hot, like, a week ago, like... OD hot like mm -hmm. 90s mm -hmm. Yeah, ahora está como frito mm -hmm. Otra vez That's beautiful um, What else are we going to say? I put the hair treatment on my hair As you can see it looks a mess So I'm going to wash it tomorrow Shout out to everybody that um, Wrote to me in that video Of the dating experience A lot of people um, Gave me a lot of feedback A lot of people Really enjoyed it You know I, I really didn't want to do that video and because I don't like to put my business out there. A lot of people want to see more dating videos. But to be honest, you guys, um, dating is a chore for me. The experience was great. You know, I learned a lot from it, you know, and yeah, I'm just like... It's a lot of work. Yeah, people, a, don't, people just make it seem like it's just, you know, fun, sex, and, and good meals all and the time. A, and, and a lot of not, people, a lot of people... We're like, oh, why did you stay that long? Or what you do know, you mean? Like when you're dealing with one person, you just don't give up on them right yeah. away. And, and just... not only that, like I didn't say that he was very insist, insist, insisting. He knew that I was Catholic. He knew, you know, that I smoked. He knew that I drank. You know what I'm saying? He didn't see the lifestyle of me partying and stuff like that because, you know, I haven't partied in a while and I'm not going to be, you know, driving to New York every weekend to get to party when I work weekends. I just can't do that right now. But, um, you know, he knew and I would tell him this is not going to work out for us, you know, but he would be like, you know, let's try to make it work. He knew where I lived before we even started talking. I'm like, I don't think we should talk because, I mean, we there's a lot of distance here. He's like, I don't care going every, you know, every two weeks or whatever. You come here, I go there. You know what I'm saying? In the beginning, it's easy mm -hmm. to say, yeah, I'm going to do mm -hmm. this, I'm going to do this. I'm telling you. And then when you start, you know, trying the person and seeing the distance and stuff, mm -hmm. it becomes a job. Mm -hmm. So it's and like... And I, I, I wouldn't... I would have never gave up on him because, you know, I liked him. He liked me. And I'm not the type of person to give up on somebody when I have feelings for them. You know what I'm saying? When I like them and stuff. When I see a lot of good qualities that I've never found in a guy, I'm not going to just give up on them like that. You know what I'm saying? Especially if they're being persistent. Especially if somebody don't got kids as well. Yeah, um, you don't find that very mm -hmm. often. I mean, we don't. And especially somebody that has a great job, a great career, you know, has his own car, his own home. You know what I mean? mean or um, his own apartment or whatever and um yeah so you know I got a lot of good feedback I really appreciate it you know I'm glad that I was able to do the video and you know it was an experience you know I'm just you know I was able to learn from it and that's just what it is I respect at least dessert. you got a, a four bags of nuts that we ate and munched on you yeah. know what I'm saying mm -hmm. so it was nice it was shout nice. out to the nuts yeah shout out to the nuts mm -hmm. it was nice so you know it was something that I needed to experience you know like I'm not gonna be hurt by it or like you know mad about it and stuff like that so that's that um what else did I want to say there's going to be a giveaway in between this video here some way, somehow. Um, please follow direction. Please follow rules. Um, 
And what else did I want to yeah, say? Yeah, they're going to be my simple because y'all don't listen to rules. Yeah, so. no, yeah. Um, yeah, we want to go try to go to the movies this week as well um, and watch that Mario movie. And it's me, a Mario, Mario, <laughs> Mario, Mario, and Luigi is really me and you because mm-hmm. red is mine and green is yours. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I love Mario. Mm-hmm. It's like, I love Mario. Yeah. So I'm just so like blah right now and yeah, like just mellow go out. Home and smoke mm-hmm. Yeah. And chill. We're gonna go watch. Um, mm-hmm. I'll show you guys that later, but I bought the Scream movie, the three, um, it was like a three D this set or whatever, it has Scream number, the original one, two and three, so we've been watching that, um, mm-hmm. so I'm gonna do that when I get home, and yeah, I'm gonna go to the P.O. Box real quick to get my packages, and that's really much, that's all I wanted to say. Yeah, we're just chilling, and... We're getting ready to go to Florida. That's what you were going to say yeah. earlier. Yeah, I can't wait to get my hair done. I got to get these ends cut. We're going to try to do it a little bit different this time around, you know. Um, and yeah. I was going to do um, something, like, elaborate on my hair, but I'm not. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to cut it and wash it, you know, the the, the usual. Because it the it the pelo necesita como TLC. Yeah, so it needs the DBO. Mm-hmm. Do, do you know what the DBO is? Do you know what the DBO is? No. The Dominican blowout. Come on, man. Oh, I thought I was. I thought you were saying date of birth. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Yo, I swear she is so fucking stupid. That's all that fucking soap you be eating. Yo, let me tell you a secret no. about my fucking sister. <clears throat> Don't tell them. It's a stupid Because you know, guys, we really do everything together. And I'm not afraid to say this. So sometimes, like, we share one bathroom. I cannot wait to move from that place because we need more than one bathroom in the mm. house now. But, yo, we share one bathroom. So sometimes I'm like, okay, Donnie, you know what? I'm going to be brushing my teeth while you shower. So, sometimes when we run out of soap, I'm like, okay, let's get a new soap. She'll literally open the soap and be like, damn, this smells good. I want to taste it. And she'll taste the fucking bar of soap. I can't help it, you guys. I've always been like that. I just give it like a little light lick. And the other and night, she made me try wash, it. Of course, we wash it. You know what I'm saying afterwards. I don't give a fuck what y'all say anyways. Like... I like to try the soap. Like, I don't know why. Nah, I, dead ass, like... And I only do it one time. I just need to get it out of my system. I, I did that a- shit with Play-Doh, I think, when I was a kid. I love the smell of Play-Doh and the, the, the texture. So I made, like, a bowl and put it in my mouth to taste it. I swear, like... I love the smell of Play-Doh. Yeah, me too. Like, like I love it. And I still will play with a child on the floor yeah. Play-Doh. Like, oh, my God. My mom used to get so mad. I mean, no, would, I mean, no, I mean, no, I go and say Play-Doh, kid. Because, Parents because we had, hate Play-Doh. They hate it. They hate because it. we had carpet at the time, my mom hated, hated it. it. I love Play-Doh. Hagan un reguero de Play-Doh en la carpeta para que ustedes vean. I still oh love Play-Doh. Mm. I used to love the... T- the, what do you call those little blue thumb facts in school? That little sticky thing that they used to stick on the oh, wall. Oh, I know. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but let us know down below if you have any, like, little things that you like to do or, like, any... You know, I used to love playing with Legos, too. Legos. Oh, I love Legos. Mm-hmm. Anyways, let's stop rambling. Enjoy the vlog. And let us know down below if you guys love playing with Play-Doh or any... Little things. Oh, I like blowing bubbles. Oh, yeah, bubbles is fun. You know what I want to do that I never did? The slip and slide. I love, uh, um, I like hula hoop. And which one was the one que uno se ponía en los pies? Skip it. Skip it. I used to love skip it. And let me tell y'all something. I'm good with skip it. I haven't played in a long time, but challenge me and skip it and I'll beat your ass. I will do, you know what I love? The fucking playpen at McDonald's with those bolas. Yeah. Oh, my God. If I get rich one day, one day I'm going to get rich, I'm going to have one of those in my backyard. Yeah. I swear to God. Yeah. Oh, my God. We should create a pool version with that in it. Oh, and the half of the pool, the back. Yeah. Or we got the Garado because the Playboy Mansion had a Garado. We're going to do the Garado with that shit, yeah. bitch. Oh, hey, yo. that's lit. Oh, that's what? lit. What? The hookah in the back with what? the bar? What? what? 
Okay. I'm gonna have a bar. I'm gonna have my... the stripper poles. I'm gonna have the bocina, the bocinon, and everything, and the karaoke because yo, I'm the karaoke queen. Okay. Yeah. Oh my god, that would be lit. Okay, you guys. So we got packages. Um, someone sent this to Woody. This Gumby Doy Talk. I'm thinking it's Karen. Because she said that she did send something, but I don't know. Shout out to whoever sent this. Thank you so much. And then we got two um, packages here. One is mine. One is Marlene's. Let me try to open it real quick. You guys, so this is my package right here. It's a mini fridge. Um, we got it from a company called Astro Owl. I'm going to put all the links down below. I just want to show you the unboxing real quick. This is what it says. I'm believing you can put, I think, from reading it. You could put up to six water bottles, which I'm super excited, and I could put my skincare. So I'm going to take it out the box real quick and show you guys. Look, you guys. I'm so excited for my little fridge, my mini fridge. OMG, I'm so excited. I got it in pink. And Marlene, Marlene which color did you get it in? Pearl. My sister got it in pearl, so you could put water and soda here, but I'm going to use it to put my water bottles and my skincare because you guys know we don't play with our skincare. So this is the brand right here. I'm going to leave the link down below so in case you guys want to get it because it's super affordable. They have it in white, pearl, pink, black. I should have gotten black. What and I, I think they have it in uh, blue too, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, you guys, I'll show you when I set it up. So this is what it looks like, you guys. Super cute. It's so many, you guys. So you close it here. You open it. You could put, like, small water bottles in here. Unless you take this off, I'm pretty sure you could put uh, big bo uh, bottles of water. But look how cute. You I'm can really put... You know what you could put here? Mm -hmm. Your lip mask. Your lip mask oh, and your yeah, eye patches. OMG, I'm so excited. Thank you so much for sending this over. Oh yeah, oh, Poppy, yeah. you could put cheese here My too. Lunchables. Lunchables. This is the uh, cord that it comes with it, so it can stay on. And then let me show you the back. It's so freaking cute. I cannot wait to use this. It doesn't take up a lot of space. So if your kids are into skincare or getting into skincare, this is the way to go. You could get them one of these. And this is, um, you could put it in warm or you could put it cold. And then this is the charging. So I wanted to show you my little mini fridge. It's all set up. I put it in this table now, but I'm not going to leave it here. I just wanted to show you how much space it takes up. As you can see, I did take off the divider for a minute. And the reason why is because I want to show you how I have it set up. This is not how it's going to stay. I just wanted to see how it is because, you know, the rooms in our house are upstairs. And then the kitchen and everything is downstairs. So I wanted to see because... Every night or like when I'm in my room, I always have a drink with me, especially at nighttime. I like to stay hydrated. And during the day, like when I'm working from my phone and stuff like that at home, um, editing videos, answering comments or doing like herbal life stuff, I like to bring my beauty booster upstairs. So I'm like, let me try it out and see how everything fits. So this is how I have my stuff so far. I have some sheet masks in here, as you can see, Glam Glow, Neutrogena. And then I have some vitamin C serum here. I decided to put these gummies in here. I have some downstairs, so when I go downstairs, I have some. But sometimes I forget to take them, so I brought them upstairs to see if it fit. I got my beauty booster in here. I just wanted to see if it fit um, my... Uh, water bottle kind of thing i got this spa life this is the collagen serum one this is when my face looks kind of like silverish because it has those silver specks and then i have my eye creams here from herbal life this one is the nighttime one and then this one is the daytime one so this is what i'm keeping in here so far i'm gonna take this out because um, I'm going to have a drink and then I'm going to put the divider to show you another way as well. So let me show you another way that I have it set up. Here I have some of my Mario Badescu. I put the divider inside. I have my serums. It is kind of hard to put them in here as you can see. It's folding it but that's okay. I don't care. This is the cream that I'm using right now. This calming gel moisturizer. I got it at... Uh, TJ Maxx for $3 and is amazing. It's like a water cream. 
And then I have my creams back here, my eye creams, my little gummies, and then I have my masks in here. I will be adding some eye patches and some lip masks in here once I get it. Um, it's starting to feel cool, the refrigerator. So as you can see, I'm going to be leaving all the links down below. And it's not taking up, it doesn't make too much noise. It's really quiet. It's almost like the diffuser. You barely hear it. I have my window open. So yeah, by the way, this tastes amazing. I just added the coconut drink mix. And when I tell you, this tastes just nothing like coconut. Oh my God, it's so freaking good. So I'm going to leave the links down below. And I want to thank Astro Al for sending these mini fridges over. Okay, you guys, so the first thing I'm going to use is this Bior Micellar Toner Water that I have. I don't usually use stuff. Mira como se me cayó el thing. I don't usually use stuff like this. I got to get another one because that one is already infected. But I'm dirty. Um, I had bought this a long time ago when Hillary had came over. So I usually like to use this, especially when I don't use my Clarisonic because I don't use it every night. Just because I don't have my own bathroom. We share um, bathrooms here, so sometimes I leave it in my room, but... When I don't use that, I, I still wash my face and I like to use this because I feel like it takes all the extra um, dirt off. I just take a little bit and put it on the cotton round and then just rub it on my thing. When you um dealing with skincare, you got to make sure you're on top of it. You know, I can't tell you that um my face has been like uh, problematic because my mom had good um face genes. That's how I call it. My mom had good genetics, but... You know, I've gotten little pimples here and there, and I always wash my face. I cannot sleep with my face dirty, so always make sure you clean your face. And keep in mind, um, we drink lots of water here. I don't know. You probably won't be able to tell because, you know, you guys don't see what we do every yeah. day. We also drink collagen. I don't know how many times do I have to promote that. You have to take collagen if you're over 30. Yeah. I will start at least... 25. I'm not saying this so you could buy it from me. Take collagen. It doesn't matter where you get it from. Take collagen. The older that you get, the more collagen you lose. It's and like you guys make some of y'all make fun of us. This is why we y'all don't see it, but the comment section whenever we take care of ourselves, whether I go get Botox, lip fillers, whatever it is, Darlene's going to go get a procedure in her face and we're thinking about filming or not filming it because mm -hmm. it's totally I'm, different. I'm going to film it, but I'm going to disable comments probably, or maybe mm -hmm. I won't disable comments because you got, some people might want to do that eventually. I'm not sure, but every time if we do stuff like that, it's going to bring new audience. So I want to be able to engage with the women that want to get it done because I wow, yeah, put, I, yeah, eyebrows are amazing. Like, thanks. Oh yeah. Let me show you something really quick. This right here, this, um... You've been putting that on your eyebrows, too? No, not my eyebrows. I don't do my eyebrows. I do it on my eyebrows, and it finally grew in. Yeah, because my sister had... She had... We went mm -hmm. to this China spot. You know, the Asians in, in New York, and they did her eyebrows one day. Never fixed... They, they, they fucked it up for her, and she never felt like... It her, grew in the yeah, proper so way. Yeah, so... We use this. This is fourteen fifty in Sephora. This is a lash, um, a Ulta I think. They sell it in Sephora because oh, we yeah, just saw yeah. it the other day, and they sell it in Ulta as well. Yeah, um, fourteen fifty. This is a lash serum that you put on. This works. Okay? Ordinary brand is amazing. We use it at night, mm -hmm. um, and we put that on. Our... It's lasted me like more than three months already because yeah. we've had it. I have a brand new one. It's up to here, and every day I'm using it twice a day. It's um. It tells you to use it twice a day. I started using it one time a day, but this goes a long way. This will make your eyebrows and lashes grow. Okay, you guys, now I'm going to use this eye cream. This is a Dr. Brandt cream. Darlene bought this for me in TJ Maxx. Another thing is my skin is not like super sensitive, so I use different things. You know, different brands. I usually like to use a kit. But usually with the kits, I find that either I have enough soap. No, I have enough um lotion to moisturize. But the soap goes like this. Mm -hmm. Or the toner might be a small. So these kits, they don't come like prepped the right way. But whatever. Yeah, that's true. That is true. So I'm going to take a little bit of eye cream and just take it with the ring finger. Because they say the ring finger is the finger that is the... The less heaviest in your in your eyes, so you don't want to put too much pressure. You just want to dab it in. You just want to put some in here. I hate dark circles, so that's the 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 part of my face that I like to take care of a lot. What is your favorite part? Of what? Of your skincare. 
Um, I'm not sure. Just being done with it. I do this every night, you no, guys. But I'm going to show you. Um, there's a part of your face that you take care of the most. Whether it's your cheeks, your whole face, your lips, your eyebrows. What are you more like? I take care of, I don't know. My my, my under eyes. My circles. cheeks. Uh, I take care of my skin completely. I'm going to show you different products that I use. But a lot of people might say, oh, well, you know, I have acne prone skin. Then get stuff that helps acne. Mm -hmm. Like you can... This is what I don't get. You cannot fall off any type of routine, whether you're on a diet, whether you're saving money, whether you're trying to buy a house, whether you're trying to grow your hair. You can't sit here and be like, oh, I want my hair to grow, but you don't do take the proper steps by buying the proper shampoo for your hair, by cutting your ends maybe once a year, by doing deep treatments every time you're going to wash your hair. You can't expect something to grow and you're not putting the work for and it. saying that you're jealous of somebody is not going to change anything. Yeah. This is why we say start now. A lot of you ladies have, you know, and I don't like to throw stuff in your face, but this is the time that I have to do it because y'all watching me for a reason, right? And I want to be able to help you to get to the next step in your life, whether it's, you know, taking care of yourself, whether it's financially, whatever you could pick from me, pick from me, but do it now. Start taking care of yourself now. A lot of people make fun of us. Oh, yeah, this, yeah, that. Yeah. So when we 60 and we still looking good and you looking like a, you know, a vieja, you know what I'm saying? Double chin over here, rugada over here. Don't get mad at me because mm -hmm. I'm working for it now. You could do it too. And it's just like, you know, I be looking at some of my aunts and I'm just putting my aunts out there. My aunts be looking toe up from the floor up. They don't do that much for their faces. If they did, um, then they would look great. I know my mom would have been the one, one that... One of my aunts is still, you know, yeah. intact. She yeah. look good because she works, you know... In On herself, of, yeah. Yeah, and she's always doing her hair. My other tia Maria, you know, she picky as hell. But my other tia Maria, she, she always do her hair. Mm -hmm. She do it herself. She goes, gets a box, dye in the, the supermercado, wherever she wants to go to the drugstore. And she buys her own shit. She don't got no time. She's like, yo, she still do her makeup. My tia Maria still look good. So two out of three, you know, good. Two so, out of four. Two out of four. Yeah. Because yeah. my mom would have been my mom would have been number one. Because mm -hmm. my mom didn't play that. My mom did her hair all the time. Every Friday. Yeah. Her nails. She would do them herself. You know, my mom did not play when it came to shit like and her this. Her wardrobe. She yeah. always makes sure she looked good. Okay, so there's no excuse, like I was saying, right? This MAC um water Mineralized, cream, yeah, cream. We bought this in TJ Maxx for like twelve ninety nine or seven ninety nine. It the Dr. Brandt cream. También se compró en TJ Maxx for like what? Four dollars exactly. on clearance. So there's no excuse. Start going to TJ Maxx. Even sometimes five and below. Five and below. What's the brand that they have? Freeman. There? Freeman. Freeman. Um, wet and wild. So I take a little bit and I just dab it on my skin. This is just like um, if you tr try the Garnier Fructis, um Water gel. The water gel is just like this one. I feel like this one is, uh, of this course. This is good for summertime, summer and spring. Yeah. You don't want to use this in the uh, winter time because it's not as thick when you, in the winter time, you need something heavy duty, thick. I mean, you your know. Your skin uh, changes, your skin texture. You know what I'm saying? At least for me. Yeah, because drier or you need something <coughs> a little bit heavier, but. This is really good. Mm -hmm. I've never used this before. I like it. And don't say that you can't, you know, you can't afford MAC because you can. There's MAC products and TJ Maxx que a veces están a $6. Even Ross, you found mm -hmm. lipsticks $4. Yeah. You know, 99 cents. You have to look. Go to Ross. Go to Marshalls. Go to TJ Maxx. If you live down south, go to Bells. We went to fucking Bells last time in Florida. They have fucking Fenty. Fenty Foundation. For $12. Mm -hmm. Me and Darlene couldn't get any because they were all dark for dark skinned girls, which was great because a lot of times it's always for the light skinned girls that I find there's not, you know, for, you know, tanner complected. So we couldn't get any. Fine. That's fine. I don't need it. But, you know, if we had it, Darlene was like, damn, if they had it, I would have bought it. Yeah. So it's always look around. Clearance always. Okay, you guys. So this is giveaway time. These are the prices that we're going to be giving. So... All you have to do is just put enter me down below. Leave your social media account if you want to enter through Snapchat or through DMs on Instagram. Just message me. We're going to be picking two winners. So these are the prices that we're going to be giving. Prize number one. We're, you're both going to get one of these. This is the fragrance free cream. And then you got this brush with it. We're going to be giving away this mask kit. Olay wipes, which I wanted to keep for myself. Gonna be giving some masks, some co-wash, 
some detangling milk leave-in conditioner thing you got like four masks and then you got this vegas nay kit right here so this is prize number one whoever we pick first gets to pick choose dibs on the prizes and then prize number two you're going to be getting these masks the same kit though uh face wipes a mask you're going to get these and then you're going to get this kit of glasses i think these are liquid lipsticks so yeah just we're gonna make it super simple like the video share it um make sure that you're subscribed so good luck to everybody all the rules are gonna be in the description bar and please follow rules thank you okay you guys so i made myself my collagen water right here and i added to mine some coconut and I'm gonna make my sisters right now. I got these cups at Ross. I got five pack for 99 cents. Don't mind the heater. Um, and once you add the water, it changes the color. So here I have a little bit of hot water. So here is my scoop of Beauty Booster and it just tastes like strawberry lemonade. And what you're gonna do is just gonna mix this around a little bit. And we use hot water so that it could dissolve it much faster than just using regular cold water because it dissolves it but it takes a little while to do it so as you can see it's already mostly dissolved and i don't use a full full scoop of this because sometimes i find it to be too sweet so i add extra lemon to it right now i don't have extra lemon so that's why i use that amount and then let me just add my cold water because i've been telling marlene take your your collagen because sometimes she forgets to take it because we've been taking this from CVS collagen and vitamin C which this already has that but I like to take these as well too and this helps with your skin and your nails as you can see my nails are growing um, but I'm about to get them done soon but I just wanted to show you really quick so here's my water bottle that I'm adding to this I just gotta add a little bit more and here is the cup. I don't think this one is going to change colors, but this is my water. I'm just going to fill it up a little bit more. So here's my sister. Why is this not closing? Hold on. I got to close this better. Okay, much better. It's closed. And this one is mined. And I put coconut in it. Let me show you the coconut really quick. So when I'm done with these containers, because Herbalife now is selling... Um, drink mix powders they have pomegranate they have coconut they have all types of flavors so i just got the coconut one and since i go through my beauty booster like crazy i just saved the container this one is the pomegranate mix when i tell you you can mix this with just water or the plain aloe right here you guys is amazing it's better than juice um so i got the coconut one and let me tell y'all something if y'all love coconut let me try to open it I got to get one of those stickers from upstairs so that I can um, freaking write the coconut name on here. So I just saved these containers. I'm going to get a different flavor next so I could put it here because I'm trying to stay away from juice and just drink my aloe with water and then my drink mix powder. This one is the coconut one and I also saved these little spoons so when I put it in my water... Um, I just use the little spoon. When I tell you, you guys, this smells like nothing but coconut. It is amazing. And these pouches are under $10 and you get a good amount um, in it. So you can always save it and mix it with different things. So I love this. The link is going to be in the description bar. Don't be sleeping on these products. So this is the disc collection that we got. I only paid, it was $14. 99 i got it for ten dollars but it brings all of these and we're gonna watch the second one right now which actually i forgot about the second one you i know best buy. yeah i bought it at best buy actually now i remember the second one but yeah i'm uh watch it because we already saw what was the scream five that we saw was that five or six 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 okay yeah we saw six so we're going to see number two. I don't think I saw four and five. No, not, not four and five. I don't think we saw. I think we did see four here in the house. No, or five? No. One of the two, but whatever, you guys. Let me get to watching this movie. <laughs> Let me know which one is your favorite scream, you guys. <laughs> so. 
So we are going to Kohl's and Sephora just to look around because my dad is just going to buy a pair of jeans. I don't plan on buying anything because I don't need anything. So let's go check it out. I was so tempted to stop in Sephora, but I don't even like to go like in the store or anything like that because every time you go to the store, they're always like, do you need help? Do you need help? Do you have questions? You know what I mean? So I'm like, yeah. Plus, you guys, my dad just wanted to get a pair of jeans and I really didn't need anything. I just wanted to just go and look around because I love Kohl's. I don't know about y'all. I just love going to the store. But, you know, every time I go here, I usually find something. It's just so hard to be like, no, I'm not going to get anything. For example, these shoes like Madden Girl, I love their shoes. Um, look how cute those shoes are. Me and my sister wanted them, both colors, but they were $60. And I'm like, why would we pay $120 just to wear them one time and then have them sitting there? So definitely passed up on that. They had Lauren Conrad sandals. I wanted to get some, but they were $20. And I'm like, they usually put them like $7.99, $6.99 when the summer's almost over. So I'll just wait till then. Other than that, we just wanted to go with my dad. He got some jeans. So that's what we went for. Moral support and just looking around. We're watching screen three, you guys. And I'm going to show you my dinner, what I made for me tonight. This is my sister's dinner tonight, BLT. Um, she ate half of it already. I'm going to show you what I made for me because I wanted to do something different. And this is my dinner tonight. I decided to take a tortilla crust thing for burritos and I made pizza for me. Put ricotta, I put onions, tomatoes, bacon, cause my sister did the BLT for her and my dad. And then I made pizza for me and my brother. So I'm just letting this go for a couple more minutes. Look how good you guys, super simple. My dad got these tortillas. I think, um, I want to say it's the El Paso, El Paso brand or something like that. I think it was like eight of them for $1.99 and this is to make big burritos. So I've been craving pizza and we were going to order pizza, but I'm like, I just have the ingredients here. So I might as well make it at home. And then I put mozzarella cheese and a little bit of Mexican cheese blend that I had. So I'm going to try it because it looks amazing. So, you guys, look at my hair, how cute it looks. Shout out to all the Herbalife products in the back. Look, this is my hair, second day. I didn't do anything to it. I just put it in a little bun. Um, although, when I wake up in the morning, my hair's all the way up here. Um, so, I have to, like, tie it down for a little bit and then even sleep on it for a couple minutes. But as you can see, my dad said my hair looks so nice. I used different products this time. I didn't use none of the African Pride besides the mousse. So it's a little bit dry in the bottom, but I kind of like it like this for some reason. I feel like when my hair um, is like this a couple days after, like the curl <laughs> pattern, it's like so much better. As you can see up here, you can see all the product. But boomage, but boomage. Yeah, but down here you can see like it's kind of dry, <laughs> but like cute at the same time the only thing that i put on my hair today was um uh, so yeah the o ogx right uh -huh. the ogx it was the 10 in one is almost like a um uh, it's, it's a 10 because i didn't have a refresher spray i love refresher sprays um what they do is just revive your curls like at the bottom but barely any f um any like uh what's it called no, not for like uh, dandruff and stuff like that. Barely anything yeah, today. Like like yeah. So I'm going to show you guys the products when I get upstairs because I'm going to set up to smoke a little bit, you know. Just oh, smoke yeah. it up. So quickly, I want to show you the products that I use for my hair. I always use It's a 10. Hey, it has the Puerto Rican flag. Shout out to Puerto Rico. And then these are the products that I use, the main products. Usually in Walmart, these products are like $18 a piece. I got this in TJ Maxx for $7 and I forgot that I had this and I started using it again. And let me tell you guys, like my hair wasn't very minimal flakage. Like after like maybe the third day, I saw a little bit, but minimal, like it's amazing. I'm going to start using these products again. And then I use this glaze. 
it's amazing this glaze is so thick i don't know what happened to this lid it went through hell and back but let me tell you if y'all looking for new products this was i can't even tell you oh four dollars um check out tj maxx and of course i used this african pride curled mousse as a matter of fact i'm gonna go to tj maxx right now and get me a refresher spray because y'all know i fuck with refresher sprays and they just revive your curls the next day let me know of any recommendation for products that are work good for your hair because i need to get into more like hair products for like curly hair you guys i'm so excited because i was just looking through my stuff and this is one of the stuff, this is the bag of nuts that my friend had gotten me. He got me two of these and then two of the blue ones that come with like different ones. And I'm so excited I have another bag because I could never find these bags like this. Obviously, I don't have a Costco here. And I'm just so excited because I'm running out of like ideas for snacks. Like I'm hummus, hummus out. Um pretzeled out um cheesed out like that's the type of stuff that i eat like i've been eating a lot of carrots with hummus fruits and stuff like that but i miss having my nuts so i'm so excited i have this bag it's the little stuff like this like i freaking love cashews they're my favorite so we're about to get our hair done you guys we just came in it's 8 40 something um, look at all the earrings that I found. So I'm gonna show you guys. Hold on. Look at all the earrings that they have. I love this store because they have everything. When I tell you they have everything, lashes, you know, wig caps, everything. Mar, show them. I love these. I'm gonna get yeah, these. Yeah, I'm gonna get them too because all the, do they have them in silver? I'm not sure, but yeah, we're about to get them right now. Look, you guys, they have the oils that I always tell you about, the lash glue. They have like glasses, little earrings and stuff like that. This is why I love this store. Like they got everything like black castor oil, like the edge creams. So oh, it's like a, a, a beauty salon in the back. And then Mar, they have the extra um, extreme hold gel. But follow baby hairs because, you know, my baby hairs be out of whacked. So let's get some. Oh, wow. Look, anti itch scalp care that's cool and then they have all these oils right here i freaking love this store man i just love it look at all the wigs mar show them give them a little quick preview of how you're gonna act today show them a a a hit and it my hair is jacked look I we washed, washed it, it yesterday so y'all want to see it the before because i don't mind i don't mind showing you what i look okay like. show them show them show them show them look. show them so, and listen you guys it was a struggle to get up this morning but now that i'm here i'm like so excited because yeah, pampering like, myself know, in the bed i was like yeah i don't want to go yeah and but, she wanted to i'm like mm, let's cancel she's but, like no no this is my hair i just washed it last night and let it air dried this is my before <coughs> a little thirsty i brought water so this is what i'm looking like and I put some, it's a 10, and I put some, what's that treatment thing that Yosa told us? The silicone, silicone mix. Silicone mix. So, yeah, we're the first one. So, yeah, we were, like, staking out the place. Like, we were supposed to be here at 9, and we got here at 8.50. Sorry if you hear music in the background next door. There's a Mexican restaurant, and um, they be jam, They be jamming, so... Yeah, I'm excited to get this hair done because now I don't have to do my hair for the week. So I'm excited. And another thing that I've been using lately at nighttime when I'm going to do, like when I do my hair curly and stuff like that. And, you know, I wash it and style it and things like that when I'm going to go to bed. I use one of these scrunchies, not the, the ones with the elastic, just the regular ones like these because it helps with my hair like yeah, no breakage cool yeah hold on this one pulls hair as you can see it has hair here by the way i love when a lot of this stuck gets stuck here because then i cut it with the scissor i don't know i'm just i like weird. cutting with the cuticle cutter yeah it's just fun yeah that's less breakage for your hair so let's wait i'm waiting for the lady's sister to do my hair too so yeah you think so 
Je les ai bien insultés. Vous, vous partez à l'anniversaire, nous n'aussi pas avec la petite. Yeah. My hair is done, you guys. I'll show you my sisters in a little bit. My sister's done. Look at her hair. Show them, show them, show them. So let me show you what we got from the beauty supply store. Don't mind, I'm drinking my tea. We ended up getting these earrings. They didn't have them in silver, which I was bummed out about it because I wanted it in silver. But they only had these. And then my sister got one as well. And then we ended up getting two of these spritz for $3. I wish I would have gotten a bigger one, but they didn't have any bigger ones. Don't mind my vitamins in the background. And so we got two of these. So everything was $8. Um, so I'm guessing the earrings were a dollar, which is good. Because a lot of you guys always ask us where we get our earrings and stuff like that. We usually get them like in rainbows or we used to get them a lot in burlington but burlington doesn't really carry jewelry like that anymore because they steal them too much so when i used to work in burlington they had a lot of earrings like this so i would get my earrings there and then this is the stuff that we bought last time which she was happy that i brought this with me because like i said last time we said prior to um doing this video um they don't use a lot of products when they have they use their own so i like to take my own and tell them to just go ham on it because i have a lot of like baby hairs and stuff like that so yeah i bought this i think this was like 16 dollars, and there's still a lot left so i took this from you and my sister so if you guys like to get braids done and stuff like that get one of these because you don't got no flaking or anything like that and it's really really good for the hair so this is what the hair looks like. Marlene, did you lay down on it already or no? No one. Just wondering. Because it like goes to the, you know how it bends, like that's oh, how it I does. Went, I was going like this. Oh, okay. And like to the side. Yeah. So it looks okay. nice. It's okay because when you go like that or bend over and stuff, yeah. it's supposed to bend over here. Yeah. They usually go like that anyways. They're never going to stay straight. Yeah. So you guys... Um, I didn't think, I thought they were going to charge us more. They only charge us $40, which is really good, to be honest. They usually uh, charge us. 50. The last time I thought, I thought they charged us 60 because we got them a little bit longer. Yeah, we usually get them long. My other girl used to charge us 45 plus a deposit, plus tip. So we were really giving her like a good $80 a piece. Yeah, and that was driving three hours away. That's not including gas. Yeah. This, we just did it at last minute. We just wanted to get last it done. Last night, I was like, yeah, let's get our hair done because I don't feel like doing my hair. And she's like, you think so? So then this morning, I wanted to cancel. But I'm grateful because I'm mad tender-headed, though. I'm yeah. Like, this is the only style I think I could do because... I can't sit. I can't. Darlene, yeah. I was having a hard I, time. I'm like, no me hable. I was telling her. I was don't. asking her about dinner. She's like, don't talk to me. I'm like, okay. You guys, so we about to end the video here. Um, stay tuned for vacation. Um, we're leaving soon, so. I'm excited. I'm excited. I didn't think I was going to be excited, but I'm excited, you guys. Like, I'm ready to get out of here. I'm ready to just do nothing. When I tell you not lift up a damn thing or a finger i'm yeah, telling I don't you do anything like i have plans like i'm pretty sure when i get there i'm gonna be you know excited and stuff but seriously like me and d are just like on a relaxing type mode like i've been so tired i don't know what it is you guys like first of all my sleeping is off even if i try to go to sleep early let's say i try to go last night i try to went to bed at one something that was early that's the earliest i've gone to sleep these past couple days so i'm excited to go out there because when i get to florida i can't even stay up past 12 o'clock mm -hmm. like by 10 o'clock <coughs> we're watching a movie and me and marlene be falling asleep mm -hmm. that jose has to leave the room um and another thing is like there's times that i try to go to sleep like at two or something in the morning or three and i'm just constantly my mind is going what am i doing tomorrow with this and that just stupid shit it's just like one of those things that i don't understand it so we hope that you guys enjoy this video we hope that um you guys look at the description bar all the links are going to be down below for the mini fridge for all the herbal life products for the, for the giveaway. Give giveaway 
all our social media is gonna be linked down below so thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time oh um, one thing i want to say before we go mm -hmm. shout out to the people that are really going through something you guys are in my prayers you guys know I always pray for you guys as a whole because I don't know everybody's name. I can't remember everybody's name. Mm. You know, there's a lot of people, but I always pray for everybody as a whole. But the people, the 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 girl that lost her husband, you know, with the kids, you know, our condolences for you. The girl that has her best friend that has cancer, we're praying for her. And then the one lady that said, pray for my son because he's, he's getting chemo. We're praying for him as well. And everybody else that's going through something, you know, because... You know, it's tough times out here, mm -hmm. you know? And it's like we don't get to really see what you guys are going through. You know what I mm -hmm. mean? So, you guys are in our prayers always. We appreciate, love you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.